Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So behind me here I have a few pieces of sound system equipment that I found. Two subwoofers and another type of control box. And you can find these items often on garbage day. People are getting rid of them because they break down or they're giving up on their musical dream, not sure of what to do with them. So you do want to make sure before you scrap these, check to see if they work. If they are in good workable condition, you can make a lot more money selling them online in workable condition. However, these three unfortunately don't work. I've tested them. These two right here are heavily damaged and you'll see that in a second. Someone, it seems, used a hammer um, to uh, get out their frustration. But either way, if these don't work, they are an excellent source of scrappable material and very easy to take apart. This is the back of this large subwoofer and I have already removed the outer screws. Just to quickly show you, this panel is non-magnetic. This is actually gonna give me some really nice clean aluminum. There is a little bit of brass here as well. A nice power cord. This is gonna give me 40% appliance wire and that right now is going for $1.56 a pound. Inside of this, what I really love about these control panels is a really nice heavy copper bearing transformer. That's gonna have some really nice number two copper inside of it. Give me $4.30 a pound for that. As well, this circuit board does have some brass here, a lot of nice wire. This wire here that you see the red and the white, this is upgraded from your power cord because there is only one strand or coating of plastic. This is your higher value. So this right now going for $2.56 a pound and you do wanna separate it. But there is a nice control um, or e-waste as well here, circuit board that I am gonna remove. But again, really nice transformer. Inside of here, very, very simple. A little bit of styrofoam, or sorry, not styrofoam, cloth, whatever you call this stuff. Uh, nice speaker inside. Uh, these speakers, again, unfortunately, this one doesn't work. But that is a very nice item. I have tried actually using those for magnet fishing. There is a very powerful magnet on that. Uh, was not very successful, but it did get some smaller items. Um, so it does work, just not for heavier items. Uh, and if you're interested in that video, I will put the link in my description below. But inside of here, other than that speaker, that is it. Okay, and I'm just going to focus on this one. Again, same style um, as you can see here, changing the angle. There is my speaker right there. Uh, as mentioned, there is the hole that was put in, I assume, by a hammer. Uh, but the back, there is one more screw that I have to remove somewhere. Just to remove this. There's the screw. Unfortunately, there it is. So this actually has a plastic back to it. Uh, just going to remove the last screw. My screws, I just put on a magnet. Um, and I will bring them in as tin. Just gonna quickly move this. There is a small circuit board as well here. The rest of this is plastic, but inside, again, just turning this upside down, look at that beautiful transformer here. Again, just gonna cut some of these wires just to show you, bring it up to the camera. And again, a really nice appliance wire on this. And some people will actually take off the brass prongs. I do, for these, I will put this into uh, brass, get $3.05 for these brass prongs. Uh, some people leave them on for the weight. But here again, a nice transformer. Gonna open that, get out the number two copper. This right here, this little circuit board, this is actually gonna be a piece of clean aluminum on this as well. There are different categories for painted um, aluminum extrusion as well as clean. So comparing these two, as you can see, this one right here, uh, this is actually a form of uh, extrusion. Any type of aluminum that looks like it's been put through a mold or a press uh, is extrusion. And this is actually higher value than clean sheet aluminum. This right now is going for 98 cents a pound. And because it is painted, it actually has its own category, uh, a couple cents higher than clean extrusion. And I'm not sure why painted is higher. I would think that clean would be higher because there isn't any type of um, debris or... Um, um, paint but again no matter some clean extrusion or painted extrusion here this one 
is gonna be clean extrusion. Um, again, there you can see it looks like it's been put through a mold. Um, there are some screws on here. This actually is gonna be this plate here. Put a magnet to it. This is magnetic, so this is gonna be a piece of tin. And I do wanna clarify with some of my viewers asking me why I use the term tin or um, shred uh, compared to steel. They are different, they are different metals or different uh, compounds inside of them. And what I'm referring to is the categories at a scrapyard. In order for something to be classified at a scrapyard as steel, it has to be magnetic and thicker than a quarter inch. So all of your scrap metal that is magnetic and less or thinner than quarter inch, like this panel here, is gonna be tin or shred. So that is what I refer to um, from the categories of scrapyard. So all of your outer panels, for example, from appliances, microwaves, uh, your washer, dryers, ovens, all of that sheet panel outside, as well as all the smaller components inside, because those are thin, those are your tin shred. And right now, giving you about 10 to 13 cents a pound. Steel is a little bit higher. Um, that is more of your uh, type of support beams. Trampoline poles, for example, or thicker poles, those are more your steel, as well as your thicker nuts and bolts. Those can be steel as well. But it does also depend on how much you have. I will find a lot more tin shred comparing to steel, and I'm not gonna waste my time driving to a different hill in the scrapyard just for a couple extra cents uh, having just a little bit of uh, steel. So a lot of times I will throw it all together and get tin shred price. So that is what I'm referring to there. This circuit board does have right here, any type of your aluminum heat sinks like that will have connectors like this. This actually, if I break that plastic open, there's gonna be a little bit of copper in there. So this is gonna be actually a piece of number two copper. The rest of this, there is a small relay box here that has a spool of copper as well. Um, and if you are into micro scrapping, there are little types of chips here that you see IC chips. There are a couple MLCCs, a couple of ceramic capacitors. And I will also include the link to those micro scrapping videos in my description. But again, the money maker here is the aluminum and the transformer. These transformers are their own category at a scrapyard. You can get about 25 to 30 cents a pound for them. But in my opinion, a lot better value taking the time to open them, maximizing your profit, getting that copper for number two value at $4.30 a pound. And the rest of those outer shell uh, part of transformers are still gonna give me tin. So I'm not wasting any money. I'm just upgrading and very easy to do. Okay, inside of here, again, there is a panel box, but there is right there the speaker, and I will remove that speaker in a bit. I'll probably just continue what that person did and use a hammer. There is still, you can see, debris on there, uh, and they are very easy to do. Just to show you, add a little, or take a little bit of my aggression out, use a little hammer, smashy, smashy. There you go. Okay, so I will work at that. I could actually probably just pry this panel off. There we go, the face plate. So there it is, again, speaker. This is a little bit of items here, a little bit of tin there that you see. Again, speaker part, this is heavy plastic, so no monetary value here. But this speaker there does have some ferrite. It does have some screws that I have to remove. And I will actually try and separate this, see if I can get some type of um, value for this resale value. Uh, see if it works. I do have a friend that can test these items. Um, but uh, again, this one I have tested and it does not work. So again, I could use it for magnet fishing, but I already have a few of them. There is, as you can see there, my screwdriver is attaching to that uh, magnet there. Great item. And there is a little bit of copper that you can see right here. Just gonna pull it, cut a little piece off here just to show you, there's not much, but it does add up and it runs into the speaker. Okay, so I will get that off in a bit. But the rest of this box, again, I'm just gonna throw it right into the garbage, unfortunately, okay? But there is a speaker in there I wanna get. And some of your subwoofers, I will say, are really good because they have not only a transformer, they could actually have a different item that I have found several times. 
And this is kind of like a copper donut. So this was actually inside instead of the transformer. And this is another reason I love these subwoofers. So I will not actually um, unravel this here on camera, but as you can see, it is a beautiful spool. This is actually not gonna be number two copper. This is gonna be number one copper because the rule is in order to be number one, the wire has to be thicker than 16 gauge. And that's about the thickness of the lead of a pencil. This is higher than 16 gauge. So all of this is gonna be actually $4.50 a pound as number one copper. Uh, and I am looking forward to unraveling this. There's gonna be several layers to it. It does also have a magnetic uh, inner donut, if you will. So there are a few layers on this. So I will include the final weight to this in my uh, comment section. Looking forward to that. So again, beautiful score. And these are sometimes the replacement to your transformer in subwoofers. So this is beautiful. The last item here, as mentioned, uh, this is uh, the smaller component. It does also have a aluminum plate to it. Where's my last screw? There it is. I have removed some of the plates or some of the screws just to speed up time as well. This one did not receive as much um, <laughs> hammer uh, attention, I guess. It only has one or two spots there. But this too, you can see just starting to remove the components. There is going to be a speaker, and I'm gonna bring it up to the camera in a second, but this too has a beautiful transformer that you will be able to see in a second. There is, again, some really nice aluminum. This is, too is painted extrusion, and you have to be careful. Inside, there are, hopefully you can see that, the light is not good here, it's a dreary day, but there are screws you can see right in the middle there. I do have to remove those screws, but this whole plate is aluminum. There is a really nice circuit board here that you see. This too has some chips. Some of these, these are your ceramic capacitors. They can actually hold um, different precious metals, silver. Um, some of my LCC, MLCCs I don't see, but the chips too can be resold, taking those off, very easy to do. And I do do that. This wire, I throw this actually into just low grade. There's not a lot of copper recovery in here. Um, sometimes uh, scrap yards will give you a downgrade price. So do not throw this into your appliance wire. Um, so this is again my appliance wire. This is low grade. These I do throw into um, my appliance wire uh, and they are thin, but it does add up. Um, again, here again is some thicker wire. This is gonna be again higher grade. This is my 60% appliance wire. Um, but again, two really nice transformers. Uh, sorry, a transformer in there as well as two circuit boards. This circuit board, I mentioned a couple minutes ago about the connector on my um, aluminum heat sink. They do have right here again, you can see where my finger is. This one right here, this prong, sometimes they are not attached to your aluminum heat sinks, but that is actually number two copper. Just gonna show you right now the file. And I have had some viewers say that their scrap yards will not take them because they have a heavy plastic on them. So sometimes you will see them like this. There you go, there's a copper. So sometimes it's easy to tell. Sometimes you can see the copper right on there. You do not have to file it. But sometimes it is complete plastic. Um, and I would say to those people, save them up. If your scrap yard is stubborn with that, you can shop around. People will buy these given the price of copper. Um, but there is definitely a market for those. So don't just settle on one scrap yard telling you something and you know, either taking a lower price for them or um, something because they are also out to get a profit and sometimes it does just depend on the person working the scale house. So keep those connectors as mentioned. I have about 13 pounds of them already just from the amount of um, them that I have. And notice right here on the bot, look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six right there that are glued on. Those are also number two copper, this side, there's gonna be probably a couple underneath these two uh, boxes there, but you will find them often. Don't uh, settle for nothing or lower, shop around, you will get higher value. The, again, transformer in here, gonna bring that up to the camera. There is my transformer, there is some wire. There again is the speaker that I have, so that speaker is also gonna have the ferrite on it. Just gonna have to remove this cap, unscrew it later. 
But I do want to focus on my transformer, this one here. Um, and again, these transformers, very easy to take apart. They sometimes have a coating on them or, or um, um, a plate. This again, another example of tin shred. It is not thicker than a quarter inch. So this all just goes into shred. And I will actually use a lot of times my microwaves, the inner core, once I take them apart, the storage area inside, I'll throw all this little stuff in there, uh, helps keep down the space. It does build up weight. So good way to transport that. This transformer, again, lots of nice copper here and very easy to take apart. Um, just actually, there is gonna be some glue on here and I am just gonna start taking these little fins off. Very simple to do. Okay, just gonna actually take a hammer the side of it and I'm actually just gonna start peeling off some of these uh, just to loosen them up. Okay, you can see that very easy to do. I also do wear safety glasses because sometimes when you're hitting it, little pieces will fall off. And I will also say, depending on the date these were made, uh, this one was actually, I think, 2005. The black one, I think, was 2004. So depending also on where it's made, year it was made, can also depend on or change what they are made of. Um, again, depending on if they have the donut or the transformer. I would love to find more of these because I am really excited to weigh this. But transformers are just as good. Um, there it is again, some panels. So all of this I'm just going to throw right into that microwave that I was talking about. Get the storage. Um, easy to do, okay, but there it is. Just pulling these plates out. And they're almost like an E. The plates go into each other all the way down. Once you get a couple out, it is easier. Uh, and it does also depend, I think, sometimes on the amount of glue that they have in them. But there you go. Once one's starting, they're all going to start falling out. Okay, and I will also hit it again a couple times with my hammer just to loosen them. There they go. Just start falling out. Okay, hammer it again. Loosen it. Look at that. Look how easy that is. Okay, so again, not going to do the whole thing, but just going to quickly break that to show you. Okay, look at that. Look at that beautiful copper winding in there that I have. So again, a lot easier, a lot better, uh, more higher value taking this apart. Again, some tin, so still gonna get 10 to 13 cents a pound for this, but that copper inside of it, gonna give me number two copper price at $4.30 a pound. Copper continues to be our scrapper's gold, um, but Look at that. So just going to hold off for that. I'm going to just have to hit it with a hammer again. But two nice spools there. Um, the rest of this, as mentioned, that transformer is a little bit smaller than that one. But still going to get a good weight of tin as well as copper. Um, other than that, not much else in here other than that speaker. The rest of this box, as mentioned, because it is heavily damaged, going to have to unfortunately throw it away. Um, but that is your subwoofers. Two different styles. Great source of scrap. Make sure you check to see if they work because you are gonna get higher value in good workable condition. And that rule stands for all of your items. Before I scrap anything, I will see if it works. I have found tons of different fans, heaters, uh, items like that that I've been able to donate or lamps, donate to places like Salvation Army or St. Vincent de Paul, being able to divert it from the landfill. Uh, as well as give it to someone um, at a better value um, instead of wasting it and scrapping it. So hope you enjoyed that. Again, please comment down below. Look forward to uh, answering questions. I have had several questions about clarifying with tin and shred. So that is why I took that moment to do so. Um, but again, great items for sure. Know what you have. Look at your prices. Shop around. Again, uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.